Welcome to Puff TV, the official channel for the 26th Black Knights Film Festival. Here with another, with another session of Meet the Filmmakers. I am your host André Limet, and with me I have Franz Malmsten, the lead for The Bog, uh, premiering here for, uh, as part of the Baltic film competition. The Bog uh, tells the story of Thomas, a young uh, bohemian man uh, returning from the First World War to visit his uh, brother at the Estonian countryside who becomes part of this uh, love uh, triangle which uh, quickly turns into violence and uh, revenge. So welcome, Franz. Yeah. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for the introduction. So <laughs> the film is uh, based on a book by Oskar Lutz, uh, who yes. is a very well-known Estonian writer who lived uh, over a hundred years ago and wrote his uh, best-known works over a hundred years ago. What is it that still resonates with the Estonian audiences today? I think, like, uh, I can say it, uh, like, uh, Oskar Lutz is like a Chekhov uh, plays. It doesn't like the persons or the people, people minds and thinking doesn't change in the 100 year. Maybe the way they speak and the things they do at the same time changes, but the meaning or what they try to find in uh, life doesn't change. So, for example, the Oscar Lutz book, uh, I think it uh, resonates to the audience because uh, for us Estonians, the book is something absolutely special, uh, even for the whole world, it's something special that uh, I don't know. It's like small, uh, like few countries have bogs actually. So for us, it's like really uh, something that we are proud of. And I think uh, that uh, Oscar Lutz uh, write it in the bog. Uh, it really, uh, really takes the Estonian audience. I think the bog is actually the most quintessential Estonian word. Uh, yeah. Do you have a personal relationship with Estonian bogs? Or, or, uh... Yeah, I, uh, uh, on my countryside, there's like the nearest bog is Viru Raba, which is uh, absolutely beautiful. So every, uh, everyone who's coming to Estonia, go to the Viru bog. It's absolutely perfect because they're like the rails that I don't know how they are called, uh, they are called the paths that they have made to walk there. There are a, a viewing platform, like a tower, yeah. and there's like also few swimming places. And that's, I think, one of my favorite things about the bog, uh, swim, uh, to swim there in the fall, uh, spring, because there's always the water is a bit warmer and it's like a bit softer as well to the skin, I don't know. So the bog um, is not the, really the best known of Oskar Lutz's works. Uh, his yeah. other books uh, might be more famous. I guess it was a sort of a forgotten uh, book even for some uh, time. So what do, do you think uh, drew interest into it uh, today? Uh, yeah, the uh, bog is like, a, just like, uh, uh, how do you say it? Um, mm, uh, inimesed räägivad erinevad lugusid selle yeah, kohta. Different uh, people have like different tales. About yeah, it. tales about uh, how Oscar Lutz write the book because some say it's not even write, written by Oscar Lutz. Yeah. Some say it is, some say it, it's based on uh, notes or uh, uh, I don't know, not notes and mails that uh, he have sent to brother or someone. And so I think that when right now Estonians found out that there's like more of Oscar Lutz who have died many many years ago it really uh came to uh spotlight i think it's like if we found right now a shakespeare uh story everyone will be like wow what is this i think it's like that's uh, that like uh, to estonians and thomas uh, who you play in the film yeah. is a fascinating character because i think he kind of wants the best for everyone but yeah. he's also rather naive in a sense and yeah. he kinds of is very very like uh, egoistical at, uh, at places so what was most challenging for you and what was most interesting for you playing that character and preparing for the role uh for the f first thing was the uh, time it took place it's uh in the 20th uh, century in the beginning so i really tried to look out uh what was happening and not just what was happening but my character comes from paris from france so he's been there for a few years so for me it was really key thing to have like a, a bit different manner of uh, maybe speaking standing walking how you uh i don't know hug people 
So I tried to find the manners that they had at that time. What was like the mm, etiquette. Uh, so this was the one of the main things that I re researched for. And what was th uh, the most difficult to prepare was like how to uh, have different kinds of relationships with like there's like three girls, uh, three women that I uh, connect with and each uh, character of Thomas represents one side of him or something of him. So I, it was like a busy work for me to find out what, what it was, actually. I really enjoyed it. And we already mentioned that is it is a quintessentially Estonian story and Estonian writer as Oscar Lutz was and so on. So how do how much do you think it will connect to foreign audiences? I think it actually uh, will connect really greatly because uh, there's a loud triangle. Everyone gets what it is. So it's like uh, there's nothing alien <laughs> uh, in there. The only thing is the bog and where it takes place. So I think... For a uh, foreign uh, watcher, I, I suppose it's really interesting to see the locations, the Estonian manner, because there's like some Estonian manners in there. And uh, the story actually, I think it uh, uh, grabs, grasps everyone to watch it. And uh, despite you still being a very young uh, actor, um, everyone in Estonia recognizes your name uh, because you come from a dynasty of uh, actors and uh, your father, Mike Malmsten, is also represented here in the program with uh, Kalev, where he yep. stars. Uh, so does, it, does, that, does the fact that your parents are also well-known actors, does it make life, in a sense, easier for you because you already have contacts and so on and the background information? Or, or does it kind of make it more um, difficult to create your own path? Yeah, it's it's like uh, so and so uh, for for the first part that uh, you say it. I have yeah, connections are mainly the key thing in everywhere. So that's really helped me out. I have had connections to go uh, and see in theaters uh, how they rehearse a, a play. That's really helped me. I've been on the rehearsals for I don't know how many times. Uh, to also I have connections to say I really would like to go on a set. Can I go there? do anything, I don't know, collect wires or something. And I've had the opportunity. Sometimes I cannot go because there's no room, but still it, it really have helped. But the other side is uh, the way of making my own bath. That's, that's, that's been hard because people have expect, ex expected something from me. And so uh, when I was, I don't know, uh, 18 years old until 21, when I started out playing uh, outside the school, to the real audience, I was really uh, frightened because I thought that everyone uh, some way waits something, something great or greater from me because behind me is the name. So uh, there's like, there's been the uh, rock on my shoulders, yeah. So how are you looking to get that uh, rock off or uh, to ask it another way, what's next for you? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is your third lead role. Two of them are, have been in films yeah. based on uh, Oscar Lutz's uh, writings, This and Winter. And then, of course, there's the horror movie Highway to Hell. What are you looking to explore next? Uh, I've been always fascinated about uh, playing a, a real life character. It's, it's the hardest thing, I think, because then the people have expectations how the people, uh, how the person should look, talk, everything. So I think this will be like the real challenge for me as an actor. And uh, also I would like to be, I think most of actors can say that they would like to be a villain, like a true villain, because then you can like go crazy. And I would like that. And you should have played the uh, Madiak. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Madiak, yeah, <laughs> exactly. So thank you very much, uh, Franz, and all the best with your career. Yeah, thank and you. as mentioned, The Bog will be shown here at the Black Knights Film Festival as part of the Baltic uh, Film uh, uh, Program. So uh, do check it out and see you. Uh, thank you for watching and see you again during the next sessions of uh, Meet the Filmmakers here at PEF TV. Ciao.